Welcome back to Mr. Stewart's lessons. We're continuing our lesson on the simple platform game. Before, when we finished, we were able to run and jump, but as you can see, we weren't able to land on the platform, which is obviously a bare minimum when you're talking about a platform game. So today we're going to learn how to make our, sure our character can land on the platform and uh, stay level. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into our platform jumper. Um, so uh, this is uh, obviously the, the, what we wrote last lesson. Um, you can download the demo if you missed out or had trouble with the lesson. Um, so what we have here, uh, the important part here, the important method here that we're using is the move method, which is being called up here in the, uh, in the act method. It's, it's uh, what defines how our character moves in general. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to add uh, something that's going to see if there's a platform below us. Uh, the method that's useful here is what's called the get one object at offset method. So first we're going to define an, an object, uh, an actor object called platform below. We're looking for a platform below us. And we're going to see equal that to get one object get one object at offset. Offset meaning uh, it's, it's uh, different from get one intersecting object which would be touching us. We're looking for an object that's a, a little bit away from us, specifically below us. So we have a d delta x and a delta y. So this is how the distance in x direction and y direction from where we are now, um, which would be specifically from the center of our character. The delta x is going to be, uh, the, the difference in x is going to be uh, zero. Zero because we're looking directly below us rather than to the left or right. The difference in y, what we want it to be if we look at where we are in our character, um, if we look at where our character is, uh, oops, sorry. If we look at where our character is, the we're we're starting from here, which is right in the middle of the character. So we have to go halfway down the character and a few pixels down below that. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we want our delta y to be uh, we want our delta y to be uh, something we defined up here in the beginning called ground height, which is the height of the image divided by two. So, uh, and then we want a few pixels more than that. So I'll say plus five pixels below that, that should do. Um, so we want it to, this will be, so ground height plus five. And of course we're looking for platform dot class. That's what we're, that's the kind of, that's the class of the, uh, object we're looking for. So um, so ground height plus 5 in this case would be ground height would be right here plus 5 would be about this much more which is about where we're looking for. So now what we need to do is uh, if right we, we want to see if it's there the normal way to do this if we say if platform below not equal null You've probably seen this before. Just to make sure you understand what this is, every time we're going to be trying to get this platform object. Most of the time, so for example, if we're right here, it, if we try and get this platform object, it won't be there. That is, it will be null, right? Uh, but occasionally, but occasionally, when we're right here, for example, it will be there, and it will not be null. And uh, so this is sort of a double negative, a bit confusing here, but we're saying if the platform below is not equal null, that is, there really is a platform below us, then this is what we want to do. We want to say, first we want to stop going down. So we'll set our delta y equal to zero. That'll stop us moving down. Second of all, remember we had a boolean variable up here called in the air equals false. Well, if we jumped, then we're going to be in the air. So this is going to be, we want to say if in, no, not if, I'm sorry. We want to just say in the air equals false. So we're no, we're going, we want to, that'll make sure that we stop moving. 
and uh, so th that's going to stop us from um, falling and it's going to make sure that we know that we can that we're that we can move again because if the air in the air uh, determines if we whether or not we can move again so let's just try this so now we're landing on the platform which is good but you notice that now the problem is that we're not falling when we get off the platform and uh, so to, to fix that problem what we need to do we need to say what's going to happen if there's not a platform below so I'm going to put an else statement in here and uh, we want to say if if there is not a platform below then of course we're falling again so I'm going to say in the air equals true and as you can see now we're getting somewhere but you see there's still some problems here there's more than a few problems so one of the problems that you might notice is that I'm not landing right directly on uh, the platform which right you notice sometimes I'm a little below way below sometimes a little above above also we don't have anything to deal with what's going to happen if I fall all the way down to the bottom which is uh, a further problem but we're starting to look a little bit more like a platform game here in the sense that we can jump and we can fall also we have the further problem which we we're probably not going to deal with in this lesson that we can go through the pl platforms um, from upside down and also we stop when we hit the uh, when we're coming up instead of when we're coming down which is not at all what we want and we furthermore of course we, we uh, can't go right through the platforms from the side as well so let's start dealing with these problems uh, one thing at a time um, the first part of the problem I'm going to deal with is what happens if we're uh, hitting the ground, um, hitting that is the bottom, very bottom of the screen. So let's deal with that situation first. So I'm going to put in um, an, an else if statement, and the else if statement is here is going to be if our y coordinate is greater than or equal to the world height which we uh, remember declared up here we declared a variable call up here called a uh, world world height um, and the world height is basically just the height of the world so um, world height uh, minus ground height which is the remember you might remember again that the ground height is from the middle to the bottom of the character that so that's going to be our feet right on the ground then what we're going to do is basically something very similar to what we did before we'll say delta y equals zero again we're not uh, falling we'll say in the air equals false and so now oops spelling typo there sorry now you'll notice So now you'll notice we can move down here, which we couldn't before, which is good, but the problem is we're still not landing right on the ground, which is uh, a big problem, and it's continuing the problem that we have with our platforms, which we're not landing right on the platforms. We're at landing sometimes partway below and sometimes partway above. It's just not what we had in mind. So what we need to do now is for both uh, with the platform below situation and the world height minus ground height situation we need to make sure that uh, once we hit the ground we stay on the ground um, and so uh, here's how we're going to do it 
what we're going to do is once I actually hit a platform here, right, once I actually hit a platform, I want to basically we're going to cheat a little bit and we're just going to place the guy so he's right at the top. So his y coordinate needs to be so he, 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 we have the, the we know the y coordinate of the guy and we know the y coordinate of the platform or we can or we, at least we can find it. So we want his y to be from here plus half the height of the platform plus half the height of the guy and that'll put his feet right on the ground which is what we want. So here's how we're going to do it. First of all, we need to know. So I'm going to work on this part here first, which is, and, and we'll do the same thing with the ground in a sec. So I'm going to say um, that uh, first we need an image. We need to get the image of the platform so we know how high it is. So I'm going to create a green foot image called platform image, and that's going to be equal to the to the image of the platform below. So we we're going to put our feet at the top of the platform. So first let's define where the top of the platform is, right? So I'm going to call this in top of platform. This is going to be the y coordinate of the top of the platform, which is going to be the y coordinate of the platform, which is going to be right in the middle, which is right here. And then that's going to be, we're going to do that minus the height of half the height of the platform, which is going to be from here to here. So we're going to do platform image dot get height, which is going to give the height of the platform divided by two because we want uh, half the height of the platform. And then now all we're going to do is say that our new y is equal to uh, the top of the platform, which is right here, minus the ground height, which is half the height of the guy. And, oops, forgot an equal sign there. Now, now you notice there's an even bigger problem, which all of a sudden you can't jump at all. But there's a reason for that. That's because it is right now um, always uh, trying to place us right there, right on the top of the platform, even when we're trying to jump, um, even when we're just standing still. It's making sure that we're always right on top of the platform. So it's doing uh, too good of a job. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fix that. I'm going to put in an if delta y less than zero, which is going to keep us, which is only going to do, do all this if we're actually falling. And now you'll see very pretty how we land right on the top of the platform. Now we're just going to do something very similar down here so we'll say if delta y is less than zero this one is uh even a little bit easier because we already know where uh the uh bottom of the we already know where the uh bottom of the the world is which is um the world height. So all we have to do is say new y equals world height minus ground height. And now we also land neatly on the world. So our problem now becomes that we're we're not uh, we're going right through the platforms from below. And uh, so you can probably predict how we can do something similar with this. Uh, but we're going to do that um, in the next lesson um, because we made a lot of progress here. So I will see you next lesson.